Greetings respected viewers with the newest strategy of the year always remember that this video is for entertainment purposes and not a financial advice welcome to crypto trade family sami here you need to know that i'll be picking some very important trades at this right point of time for my own trading and let's see how it happens to go in our favor in the longer run you need to remember that different strategies applied at different points of time are going to reward really well and if you try to use only one single approach at all the different points of time that might not work out really great in the longer run currently i have opted for a buy trade and do remember that trading comprises of both the losses and profits you need not to worry in case if you ever happen to face some losses because that is also the part of trading the main purpose should be the way to minimize your risk minimize your loss and maximize your returns what i'll do is that i'll recover this in case if it happens to go against me and of course i'll make some profits along with that and that is the approach you need to adopt and different combination of indicators are needed to be applied and used at different points of time you cannot keep on using one single approach or strategy or combination of indica indicators that might keep on working out for you all the times that is not a proper approach i have opted for exactly two trades now let's see how we happen to clearly recover the already made loss along with the recovering um, and making some profits so what i was telling you is that do not try to depend or rely on one single strategy or approach in all the different situations and behaviors of the market because that might not work out really great and well for you in the longer run different strategies and combination of indicators applied at different parts of the day in the different situations of the market for example let me tell you that market sometimes behaves like in a volatile manner sometimes it becomes very flexible like it becomes stable and sometimes it becomes very fluctuating so you have to opt for different particular approaches in all the different situations if you try to find one single strategy that might keep on working out for you all the times that might be an exaggeration but not very close to reality so that's my point you are always welcome to reach me out on the contact details mentioned in the video for having the updated and latest information that can help you to get empowered and trade independently or the other way around you can uh discuss many other options like portfolio management coaching program and all different things you see we already made a very clear reward out of this particular trade without having any sorts of issues or any sorts of confusion but i must guide you with all the exact strategy that you need to know regarding this particular time regarding this particular pair where i opted for this trade why I, first of all i'll be guiding from the very basic concept you see the chart type as candles that i have applied okay the candle time i opted for is 1 minute and um, then i uh, exactly applied two different indicators no matter if you are a beginner and you come across any queries i am always there to support you that is why i have uh, mentioned my contact details in the video below okay so I applied two indicators named MACD and Momentum. Momentum with the default settings as 10 point and styles of your choice and there I saved it. MACD with the points 12, 26 and 9 and the styles of your choice you can always change them and make them as per your requirement so that's not an issue. So there I saved that as well. Okay. So as and whenever you see on a 1 minute candle time and on 1 minute purchase time that the moving uh, the macd actually this is moving average changing directions or something like that so whenever the macd lines intersect each other anywhere below the bars and the bars switch from lower to the upper region the macd bars and at that point of time you see the momentum was in the green bars so it was buy trend in the making that is why i opted for a buy trade however my first attempt went against me but i recovered that because i was pretty confident on this rule and i happened to make a very clear reward in my second particular attempt because if this is a matter of seconds you cannot be 100% sure on your every hit so you have to you have to manage the things okay you cannot you cannot try to divert the things according to your own choice 
but you have to stick to the exact rules so that is what i am trying to convey you uh similarly as and whenever these macd lines clearly intersect anywhere above the macd bars and at that point of time if the macd bars switch from upper to the lower region or like uh, you see the momentum coming up in the red bars you're gonna put a sell trade a lower trade a put option and this is how you have to manage the things keep them really simple clear and easier for yourself and you'll see very clear consistency in the longer run so i guess these are the very few things you need to keep in your mind and they are going to be really helpful for you in the longer run moreover let's scroll through and see if we can opt for another trade that can help us to know how these rules actually work okay and uh, let me lower down the equity because i already have made a very good profit out of this particular approach and let's see how we enter into another trade that can help us make really clear and great return again so i guess um we should keep on scrolling through and we have to just get a compliance with the rule where we can opt for such a trade you see when the macd lines clearly intersected anywhere above the macd bars and you see at that time if the macd bars switched so we could have opted for a sell trade as you clearly see and other than that the momentum was also there in the red bars but the other way around the macd lines intersected above but the macd bars were not complying with the rule i told you so exactly there are three points you need to remember in this rule that are going to help you so this is not the point to pick the trade because you see at this point the when the macd lines intersected the macd bars also shifted from upper to the lower region so that's the point so this is how you have to keep the things in mind and keep them really simpler for yourself for your own trading and that is how you are going to make really clear and great results okay so let's see if we can happen to pick the trade now and discuss if we see the right point of time let me change the candle time and see if we can just pick another trade at a very faster pace and discuss that how it worked and all that stuff now you see at this point of time this is not suggested but the point we just missed behind is this one where the macd lines intersected and the macd bars were shifting so no matter if you come across any sort of issues or queries while understanding these things i'm there to assist you as and whenever you require and you need to do subscribe the channel because i keep on bringing the best possible scenarios and stuff for you that are going to be really helpful for you in the longer run currently i don't see any other point to pick but the point already discussed was excellent to pick and we already made a reward on that as well so that is all for now hoping to assist you with more of the stuff very soon do like share and comment as well and do practice a lot this will enhance your experience and knowledge see you then bye for now take care sami here from grip trade i hope you like the video in case if you have any sort of queries or you require any assistance or you have any concerns you are all welcome to reach me out on my contact details mentioned even in the video as well as at the end of the video